Okay, so what we're about to do is go through sums and differences of areas, which I like to think of as composite area on the number plane. Now, when we do this, we've got a general procedure. Um, like most problems like this, we need to go through sketch the graphs, identify your areas in question. You might be able to use some symmetry to help you out. Identify which areas you need to add or subtract, work out boundary values, often by solving simultaneous equations. Then you need to set up your calculations. Sometimes you can use simple shapes, triangles, rectangles, circles, which don't need calculus, maybe trapezium. Um, otherwise, you need to use your definite integrals. Evaluate each little area or, or each component, and then add or subtract them to work out the area in question. Okay, so first example is we're gonna have a look at the area enclosed between y equals 4 minus x squared and the line x plus y equals 5 between x equals minus 2 and 2. Now in the question I've told you I need to the x boundary sorry are between x equals minus 2 and 2 so what we need to do first is work out how high these points are which we do by substituting 2 and minus 2 into the equation of the line um, and that will give us those two points there which will allow us to know those heights. Okay, when we have a look at it what we can see is we've got a trapezium around the outside, we've got a parabola um, underneath, so in this case we're going to do the area of the trapezium minus the area of the parabola. The other thing that will help us is that our parabola is symmetri symmetric about the x-axis so rather than integrate from minus 2 to 2 we'll integrate from 0 up to 2 and double the area which is a little bit easier for us. So first step we talked about working out the boundary values and the length of our trapezium area of our trapezium you know your trapezium formula is half the height a plus b so substitute those values in, work out the trapezium area as 20. Then our parabola, we're going to double the integral from 0 to 2 of 4 minus x squared. Find the primitive, evaluate it between 0 and 2. So we substitute our values in, simplify it, and then work out the value of 10 and 2 thirds. And then to work out the area, obviously the 20 for the trapezium minus the 10 and 2 thirds, which gives us an area of 9 and 1 third. So that's one type of problem. The second type of problem is, is where we're finding the area between two curves. In this case, we've got a straight line and a parabola. One option would be to work out the area of the trapezium, work out the area underneath the curve, and then, then subtract them to work out the area in between. Alternatively, we can work out the length of the strip in between the two curves, and then integrate that between the two boundary values of x equals 0 and x equals 6 in this case. So, how do we work out that value there? Well, our first, our straight line, I've called that f of x, so the height from the x-axis up to there is f of x at x. The height up to the parabola, which we've called g, will be g of x, so the length of that strip will be the value of f minus the value of g, so we'll use that in our integration. So. First up, we need to find these points of intersection. Now, we're lucky, we've got a nice grid, um, but you won't have that in general. General, Generally, what you will need to do is solve those two equations simultaneously, and because at the points of intersection, two equations are equal, so if you've got y as a subject, you can just equate the two functions in x. So equate them and then work through the process of solving the simultaneous equations and you get x equals 0 and x equals 6. Then, once we've done that, we can set up our integral to work out the area. 
Now we said that we're going to do f of x minus 3 of x to work out the length of that little strip because that's f of x up the top, g of x down the bottom and we're going to integrate it between 0 and 6. So substitute your function values in, f of x is minus 2x plus 16, g of x is minus x minus 4, sorry, x minus 4 squared. Simplify that expression inside the integral. Find the primitive function of it, evaluate it between 0 and 6 by substitution and you end up with 36 square units. The next type of question is where we find the area enclosed between two curves. In this case we've got y equals x minus 4 squared which is that curve and y equals minus x squared plus 16. I'm not sure why that's jumped off the document. Okay, so in this case you're given a nice graph. The points of intersection are 4 and 0. So again, we're going to work out the length of that strip there, which is our f of x minus our g of x, or the top function minus the bottom function. And then we'll integrate that between 0 and 4. So the area will just be the integral from 0 to 4 of f of x minus g of x. Simplify the algebra, and it comes out to be the integral of 0 to 4 of minus 2x squared plus 8x. Find the primitive function of that. Then we'll simplify that. Okay, we'll simplify it, substitute in the 0 and 4, and because there's x in both expressions, um, that bracket will just end up being 0 and you end up with 64 on 3 or 21 and 1 third square units. Okay, thanks for, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful.